ever since mid-May, QuantumScape has been on a tear. And this past week, we saw a price move from $9 to roughly a little over $13. So what was the news this past week that sent the stock up roughly 30%? Let's get into the news. So this article is coming from Electric, QuantumScape, Q2, 2023, Higher Energy Sales Delivered, Potential Launch Partner, and 15-Minute Faster Charge. So solid-state battery developer QuantumScape, which offers several updates on its progress towards reaching commercialization, particularly in the EV segment. QuantumScape is an advanced battery technology company with well over a decade's worth of experience developing scalable, ultra-energy, dense, solid-state battery cells that can one day achieve cost parity with traditional lithium-ion cells popular in current EV models, such as Tesla. Last December, QuantumScape began delivering the 24-layer AO prototype cell to automotive partners for them to test themselves by Q1 of 2023. Testing has been completed by at least one unnamed EV OEM, and many think that one of their partners is going to turn out to be Toyota, and we'll get into it in one second. According to its Q2 2023 report, QuantumScape shared it is now shipping those prototypes sales to partners as well. The solid state specialist outlined details of his progress the past three months in a letter to shareholders expressing optimism and progress towards core goals previously outlined in one of its one of which was the increase in cathode loading capabilities of its cells which enable higher cell energy within the same footprint. One of those partners again maybe Toyota that is currently testing the prototype cells may end up being the first OEM to commercially launch the company's flagship QSE5 in EV in an EV. The Q2 report states that QuantumScape is already in cahoots with a prospective launch partner in the automotive sector. So again, as I said, maybe one of those partners is going to be Toyota. So before we get into further the analysis, now in recent months, Toyota, regarding its sharp pivot towards EVs and potential breakthrough in its SSB technology, lent credibility to QuantumScape's platform. Toyota plans to focus sharply on battery EVs with SSBs representing a cornerstone of this fresh directive. So again, many are pointing to one of those partners being Toyota, which would be huge for QuantumScape as Toyota is one of the largest car manufacturers in the world. All right, so I want to zoom out to the monthly chart one more time. And what you can see is price is roughly at a key support resistance area. And so we should see price at least pause in this area. I mean, on the monthly chart, when you go from 8 to over 13, uh, that warrants a pause in itself. All right, so let's scroll back down to the weekly chart. Because if we can see closes above this support resistance band, when I look at current price and I go up and to the left, next targets it's going to be this $20 level so let's see how this week pans out we have to look at the price action um, what would be nice if we did get a pullback and then a breach and a close above this resistance support band now this past week we could also see that price did form 
another weekly buy zone. At the $9 level, so if price can pull back to the $9 level, that would be ideal to go long. Let's just change that number to $9. All right, so this is the setup. And then I want to see a test to that resistance support band before price continues to move higher. So if you are in QuantumScape, great job. If you want to get into QuantumScape, wait for a pullback. Based on this momentum, price may never get back down to the $9, but that becomes your buy level with a target at $20. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please like the video.